very good evening to you and thank you for joining us on Y254. My name is Patricia Murioki and as I said last Wednesday, this is a month where we're just talking about love and not the just boy meets girl or girl meets boy. Uh, just trying to really dive into the topic of uh, on relationships and see what are some of the things that we overlook when it comes to relationships. Uh, at what age what is the ideal age we know as i say every single time society uh, only is at its best to tell us when to do certain things it has limitations uh, there are boundaries uh, sometimes there are clocks that are ticking that we have to make sure that we're keeping up with but today's conversation just revolves about around what men want in a relationship and that is our topic for the night talk to us across our social media platforms that is at y254 channel you can also reach me at patricia Muryuki. and tonight we just try to understand we tackled vulnerability last week but today we now want to get it because most of the times the people who happen to struggle with uh, vulnerability is men so we really want to see at what extent or are we even supposed to be like at what say at what extent should a man be vulnerable or get emotional so to help us talk about this tonight we have mc sefa who is a founder of mc sefa events so sefa how are you doing doing great yourself is sefa dating <laughs> no, Sefa is not dating. Is Sefa searching? Uh, I would say that uh, it's 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 not a matter of searching, but mm -hmm. I don't feel it like a relationship would be uh, an ideal thing for me at this point. It's not a priority right now. Wow. So yes. <laughs> I've had some in priorities that we're also going to dive into. Yes. But as I start, as we start this conversation tonight, I would really want to know because you mm -hmm. see, most of the times when you talk about relationships and when you talk about love yeah. or marriage, women tend to be the people so much interested in like having such conversations. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, even in a platform, people talk about what do women want. I will just want to know, okay, why is it that uh, this woman left this guy or this woman didn't? pick these guys so what do men want in a relationship <laughs> or what when a man is sitting down and they are hunting has yeah. <laughs> you like to say yeah. what is it really that a guy wants well I, I feel like in as much as in your question is very broad mm -hmm. and that uh, you've specified mm -hmm. uh, all men mm -hmm. and I feel privileged to represent what yeah, by the way, you better do. <laughs> you better do it the right way you better do justice to the boy child yeah, tonight I, I, I feel like uh, one of the things that we overlook is uh, peace mm -hmm. men really want peace of mind mm -hmm. that's when that's why uh, many people just get into a relationship with people who give them peace mm -hmm. people who understand them mm -hmm. people who can be able to interact with them but the most important thing is the most important thing is is um taking time mm -hmm. and uh knowing what you really want as a, as a person mm -hmm. knowing what you your intention in a relationship is mm -hmm. because the people who will get into a relationship to maybe show off the girlfriend mm -hmm. uh, the people who want to settle down mm -hmm. or, uh, work on a marriage uh, raising a family mm -hmm. there are people who just want uh, to be intimate with that person there are different things when it comes to a relationship but i believe that most men want uh, someone they can relate with mm -hmm. someone who understands them mm -hmm. somebody who can be their peace mm -hmm. somebody who can be their solace during tough times during that that crazy day at work Mm -hmm. uh, you you you've come from work you're tired you yeah. just want somebody you can relate to talk to somebody who understands you differently mm -hmm. uh, compared to other people out there and also very importantly somebody who supports you in whatever you're doing mm -hmm. it's more of a it's more of a, a mutual uh, kind of thing eh? but now I've, having said that about men I would like also to add that when it comes to a relationship it's never always about being yourself what do you want as a person it's mm -hmm. always about the two of you you need to understand yourself from uh, a joint perspective mm -hmm. when you've come together this is what i want this is what you want can it work are we compatible together mm -hmm. what do you want now as a team now that you're together you get so i feel like that's also a very important uh, part to consider when it comes to a relationship okay yes uh we have people mm -hmm. uh number one i like the fact that as you were talking about what what men want yeah. at no point did i hear you talk about okay men want a tall woman mm -hmm. men want a dark woman mm -hmm 
men want, as much as all those things matter, then it clearly gets to send a message to ladies out here that, listen, it goes beyond the physical. Yeah. Like, what has, if I look at you as a lady, if I, like as a man who's probably looking for a partner, yes. what more can you give me? Because at the end of the day, beauty fades away. Yeah. So let us move on. Uh, do you think that people right now are dating with the right intentions? I like that you said uh, you're not dating because it is not um, your priority right now. You feel yes. like there are other things that you're supposed to be focusing on, which is also uh, very important. Do you think people out here are dating for the right intentions? Oh, I always, uh, I always, maybe to answer that, I always say that uh, people tend to say that uh, there's this uh, phrase that people say in Nairobi when they are explaining relationships. It's a gay romance. Yeah, Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get played, you're going to get... Uh, but the, 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 the truth, mm -hmm. and the fact out there is that the relationships that are working are never put out there. Uh -huh. Nobody ever talks about the relationships that are working. You just wait for those two celebrities to mess up and uh, everybody's talking about them on the blogs yeah. and uh, the vlogs. Yeah. Everybody wants to make fun and claim that Nairobi is is the ghetto as you said <laughs> but the the reality of uh, the matter is that there are relationships which are working mm -hmm. there are people who are in, re in relationships and they mean well mm -hmm. there are people who in, are in relationships and they are growing despite mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. uh, trouble is normal in a relationship yeah. you're bound to disagree not only in, a, in such a relationship even when we work together here mm -hmm. we are bound to clash at some point mm -hmm. but the, the, the ability to move on from that mm -hmm. is the, is what holds the relationship together. Mm -hmm. The ability to uh, find that uh, maybe I don't like the way this person does something. Maybe as simple as brushing your teeth or maybe chewing. Mm -hmm. But the ability to talk about it and try to make things right mm -hmm. just for the sake of your partner. That's, that's what keeps a relationship going. So I feel like there's so many people out here who are dating for mm -hmm. the right intentions. Mm -hmm. uh, but we need to as I always say, the last time I was here, uh, not the last time actually, I think the first or second time I was here, we were, mm -hmm. it was Feb. And yeah. we were talking about Valentine. Yes. And I talked about something to do with respecting the institution. That is not only marriage, but mm -hmm. also relationships. Mm -hmm. If it's, it becomes an issue of I can just wake up today and say I like this girl, you talk two weeks, then you're dating. Mm -hmm. Because you do not respect the institution, you will do anything. But when you respect the, the, the entire entity that is dating, you will be able to move forward and make progress. Mm -hmm. in it. So I believe it's a matter of respecting whatever you're doing. So if you have the right intentions, it will definitely work. Okay. I like what, that you talked about uh, people, you, you find a girl and you like them and probably yeah. in two weeks you get into the dating thing. Yeah. And I was hoping to do something detailed about dating, but because you've mentioned it, do you think... Uh, that we are, when it comes to dating, do you think like people in this country, the young people that is now people like me and you really understand what dating is? Mm -hmm. uh, because I would say this um, with different, with time that I've taken to literally really understand how to build relationships, yes. uh, so when it comes to dating, Dating doesn't really mean that it is now me being your wife and you being my husband. Uh, but we've seen people really go beyond that. The moment someone, you're like, yeah, me and Sefa are dating. Mm -hmm. Now Sefa has a million and one expectations. Patricia has a million and one expectations on Sefa. So do you think is this something that we could change uh, when it comes to dating uh, in the country? Uh, we cannot put it in the country. Yeah, okay, yeah, among the young people. In society, yeah. among mm -hmm. the young people. Uh, I, I feel there's a sense of preparedness mm -hmm. that needs to come with the getting into a relationship. You need to work, work on building something together. Mm -hmm. You need to work on first building a friendship, mm -hmm. creating that rapport, mm -hmm. figuring can we even be friends? Mm -hmm. Can we even solve issues when there are issues? Can we, uh, are we compatible enough? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's that process that needs to be followed. Anytime you try to skip a few steps, mm -hmm. you may trip and fall. Mm -hmm. So you need to follow the, 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 the right steps. You need to meet someone, create an interest. First know them as a friend, mm -hmm. as a person. Mm -hmm. Then from there it can move to other levels. And with doing that, you tend to understand them. In between the process, between where you start uh, talking as friends, mm -hmm. and before you date, if there's any flaw that maybe can make it not work, 
you'll be able to figure it out between that time. Mm -hmm. But when you just jump into it, maybe because uh, you're looking for a rebound, that is actually very common in society. People mm -hmm. are trying to get that solace they used to get, or maybe mm -hmm. that love they used to get. So they rush into the fastest person, into closest person who mm -hmm. gets into their DM. You skip so many steps. And eventually you realize this, this guy is not the one. This guy, uh, or maybe this lady is not the one. So uh -huh. I feel like there is need to follow the, the process, the mm -hmm. due process. Mm -hmm. There's always that societal process. Mm -hmm. It exists. Mm -hmm. So if you follow it, you'll be able to come up with a, with that good relationship. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so when, we, when it comes to, when you talk about expectations, and yes. we know the expectations that are literally like, uh, very so much, like unrealistic, mm -hmm. uh, but what really should people, let's say, like what are the five things? There's something called like the five non-negotiable when it comes to relationships. Yeah. What are some of the common expectations that people should have, that ladies should have? Because today we want to hear from the <laughs> men. So for ladies watching us tonight who have been doing it the wrong way, mm -hmm. what are those extremes that literally at our as in Guinea you hear a lady say what they want in a man mm -hmm. and you see them and you're like, eh, I think you need to revisit that list. Uh, first of all, I would that's that's a very sensitive uh, question, a mm -hmm. very sensitive scenario because mm -hmm. it's it's affecting so many people in society. People mm -hmm. have gotten into this um, uh, societal uh, in um, in discipline whereby you expect to get someone mm -hmm. who has everything mm -hmm. and you'll just hang on there yeah. and uh, receive everything because you are a king or you are a queen. Mm -hmm. You expect to get <laughs> wow. everything. Yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> the problem is when uh, you're talking about the things the person should bring on the table, when mm -hmm. you're talking about the tall and uh, tall, dark and, and handsome that people talk yes. about. And these days, this yes, is yes, yes, yes. When you're talking about, uh, I want a rich guy with stable who has their own car, mm -hmm. you don't think about what you're bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the road, everybody expects to fill the table from their part. Mm -hmm. The table is actually very divided equally. Mm -hmm. And you can't expect me to bring so much on my table that it's overflowing, yet your part of the table is empty. Mm -hmm. Because definitely what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Yeah. You don't expect to get something from one side and not from the other side. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody in society giving you so much from their table, they're most probably using you. Mm -hmm. You're part of the things they're giving, you're part of the property mm -hmm. or items that they, they're putting on the table. If they give you a car, nice what you just part of that car. Mm -hmm. If you're not bringing something yeah. in society, mm -hmm. like on the, on the table. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when you're talking about non-negotiables, there is always that criteria that I, I talked about the other time, whereby you tick a list of ten things mm -hmm. that maybe these are things that I cannot negotiate no yeah, matter what. I, maybe I can do mm -hmm. without, but these are major things that mm -hmm. I value. Mm -hmm. It can be physical. It can be how somebody is structured, it can be how somebody is in terms of uh, the spiritual life, mm -hmm. it can be financially. Mm -hmm. Then from that you'll be able to tick at least five things that are non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. Then the others will be like, like if you they can get compromise it, it's okay. a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when you use that criteria, it can work mm -hmm. because there's nobody who's perfect. You can mm -hmm. never get a total 10. Yeah. It's very tough. Mm -hmm. But now when you're putting this list down, you need to look at yourself. When you're saying, I want a God-fearing person, yet you're not God-fearing. Yourself. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's just clowning, as they call it. Mm -hmm. If you say you want somebody who's financially stable, in a relationship, it's, many people might, might uh, say I'm wrong or maybe I'm arguing from the wrong side. Mm -hmm. But anytime you're building a relationship, you need to contribute equally. Mm -hmm. Not in terms of finances and mm -hmm. all that, but everybody needs to be part to of the give process. Something, yeah. Be part of the process. Mm -hmm. uh, pa Patricia, I won't come to you and want to date you when you're at zero. Yeah. When all you want is send me fair, send mm -hmm. me this, send me this. I need to see some effort. Yeah. And when you're dating me, you want to date me, you can't just come to this lazy man who just stays in the house or maybe mm -hmm. does nothing. Mm -hmm. You need to see at least this guy is pushing to get somewhere. This mm -hmm. guy has a vision in life. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you, you talked about vision, yes. and that is something that is very difficult and tricky mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. to understand, and some men have used it in their favor, yeah. where, yeah, we know somet sometimes you find someone and you have to start uh, small together and grow and build, yeah. but 
what really now has a lady who is looking out, like who is looking to find a partner? When now we talk about vision and you want to find someone who is, who is vision oriented, they mm. may not be winning now, mm. but this person literally He's tells you, babe, Sijali, one day we're going to mm. gather and all that. Mm -hmm. So how really do I get to distinguish between a serious mm. vision oriented guy mm. and someone who's just there telling me that we're going to get there just because they want me to be in their life? Uh, there are things that you can't fake for too long. Mm -hmm. That's why I said if you follow the due process, mm -hmm. you take the time that is required before a relationship. It's not written. Mm -hmm. It's unwritten rules. Yeah. So you don't expect me to defend and say this is, it's written that somebody should take this long. No. It's just a mental issue. It's just being realistic. Mm -hmm. So between this time that you're knowing this person as friends, mm -hmm. when you're moving to, some even go through best friends. I actually went through that with uh, my, my ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And it was very strong. You're still best friends? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I won't answer I that right you. now. <laughs> but, but I would say that when you take the due process, mm -hmm. you'll be able to figure out. Because somebody can't fake it forever. Mm -hmm. If somebody is... Uh, maybe faking uh, being vision or vision oriented, mm -hmm. or maybe being focused in life, mm -hmm. it will fade off somewhere. Mtazoyana mm -hmm. too at some point. Mtazoyana mm -hmm. too, then everybody will be like, ah, so this is the real you. Mm -hmm. Because when all is said and done, when uh, all the show of, uh, show off is over, all the social media is over, and uh, you two meet to talk about your life. That's when you'll know this person, mm -hmm. when there's no influence from society, like mm -hmm. the real person. Mm -hmm. The other thing maybe I can add on that is that uh, I, I, I always talk about this thing of when you're going to a relationship, make sure you also have something to give. Make sure you also have, you've also made your strides towards your vision. Mm -hmm. Because, maybe to say it in Kiswahili, maybe it's kuja kwako, kama uko, Alafu kuja kwa life yangu ni kama una vision yako. Mm -hmm. You need to also put effort on your vision. Okay. You just can't say, I'll come to your life, I'll get everything. You did not have a vision for your life. Mm -hmm. You get. So you need to sit on the table, you tell me maybe I want to pursue this and this and this. I've done this so far. Mm -hmm. This is what you can push towards. Then I'll say, this is what I've been doing. I, uh, on your side, I can help you with this and this. Mm -hmm. Very small. Then with time, you'll be able to build on that. Okay. Then you'll appreciate it more when you build it together than mm -hmm. when you just came and found everything and started using. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be taking a very short break. And Sefa has said, take this for the break so that you don't go uh, anywhere. If you build it, that time that you take to build it, it's kind of more beautiful. But we come back and see, for those people who build together, and then the man runs away after they've built, how do we also try to create an understanding and a balance there? We take a very short break. We'll be b right back. Y254. Imagine. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us on Y254. Tonight we're talking about what men want in a relationship. And so far we've talked about very interesting and very informative issues. We've uh, gotten to hear literally when it comes to expectations, what, where do we get to draw the line. Talk to us across our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. You can also reach me at Patricia Murioki. Uh, before I went for the break, Seth, I talked about building together. And I said I will want to ask on behalf of my fellow sisters, someone watching me tonight and they feel like they want to build with this man but because of well, we say we learn from our history and sometimes someone's case study you can be able to learn one or two from them mm -hmm. so when it comes to building together are there supposed to be limits probably don't do it so much before you become the wife anyway tell us <laughs> as, a, as a man uh, uh, are you asking about how much you're supposed to invest into the like, relationship yeah like not even now emotionally or whatever, like mm -hmm. when it comes to finance, because you know, finance is a, fin when it comes to finance, that is a very sensitive issue. And yeah. you don't want to go building with every boyfriend that you find. Yeah. So for those people who, have, who are falling in that box, where they meet uh, number A, and they have invested and they leave their money there, yeah. they meet number B and all yeah. that and all that. So what discipline should people carry around when it comes to building things together with 
let's talk about boyfriends because yeah. in a marriage that is entirely different yeah. so let's talk about boyfriend girlfriend okay first of all i hope that the building that you're talking about is not buying ties and socks <laughs> because that's <laughs> that a, is a wallet. <laughs> and wallets but i would say that uh when it comes to building together, mm -hmm. it's an issue that needs time, first of all. Mm -hmm. It needs a lot of time. Mm -hmm. It needs a lot of consideration. It needs a lot of uh, wisdom. Mm -hmm. Because it's not something you'll just do immediately you've started dating. Mm -hmm. Don't say, let's invest maybe in a business. Let's invest maybe in, this, in, a, in a certain venture. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're talking about building together, it's when you've already worked on building yourself. Mm -hmm building yourself to a certain point, building yourself to a level of stability. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you feel like you have a similar interest that is in building together financially, mm -hmm. if you want to maybe get into a business or maybe start a venture together, mm -hmm. you need to look into a few things. Mm -hmm. Because what society has shown us over the years is that the most, the not the safest, but the closest, to the, the closest you can get to uh, save investment together would be in a marriage mm -hmm. because at least you're assured of this this person yeah at, up, up to some level because yeah. of societal issues mm -hmm. but when you're going into a marriage you've already vowed uh, to a level of 100 mm percent -hmm. so you are able to invest together mm -hmm. but when it comes to a relationship not unless you've totally agreed and you've uh, put aside the issue of the emotional part. Mm -hmm. You've come up with a financial thinking mm -hmm. and you think critically about uh, the workability of the entire issue. Mm -hmm. If you're going to invest in a, in a business, how workable is it? Are we going to run it together in a, you know, mm -hmm. in a, in a reasonable way? How are we going maybe to run the accounts? Mm -hmm. Are we going to have a joint account mm -hmm. for the business? Are we going to have two signatories so that mm -hmm. one doesn't uh, have total control over everything. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you're able to come to a total understanding on that, you'll be able to build on something that includes uh, more of uh, what we call witnesses, mm -hmm. people who are part of the business as okay. witnesses. Mm -hmm. People who can maybe come and say this is what they did mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And now maybe they're not together right now. Mm -hmm. These are the shares. If they want to uh, maybe get rid of this, mm -hmm. this is how they're going to share their 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 fortune. Okay. So if you had you can get to a point of doing that much, it's okay. But if you feel like it's still too early, you can just invest in yourself first yeah. of all, because that's what matters at uh, at first. You need you. to build your vision first mm -hmm. before you come and build our vision. Yeah, and those who forget their visions and all exactly. start to build that to other, jump person. Into other person. Um, yeah. So. We went into justice to this topic tonight without getting to talk about uh, emotional maturity or emotional intelligence when it comes to get like building a relationship with someone. How important is that? Yeah. How important is making sure that before you get into that relationship, and this is both for the man and the woman, that you're emotional, like you're emotionally, you can call yourself a mature person when it comes to how you deal with your emotional stuff. How important yes. is that? Uh, maybe bec before I answer that, I'm going to get uh, into trouble if I don't appreciate the people who are watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend uh, called uh, Kenneth. He's watching he's just from, he's from high school. I have mm -hmm. a cousin who is also watching. He's called Moses. Mm -hmm. And everybody else who is watching, we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. uh, to move forward on what you've asked, uh, it's that uh, when you want to maybe be sure that you're emotionally ready for a relationship, mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's more of looking at other aspects of your life. Mm -hmm. Have I made mature decisions in other aspects, mm -hmm. move along the relationship yeah. part? If maybe I'm in a career, mm -hmm. have I made the right choices in my career? Mm -hmm. How is my career moving at this point? Mm -hmm. Is it stable? Mm -hmm. Then you go to something else, maybe in my social life, mm -hmm. have I made the right decision? Okay. Am I responsible when it comes to my social life? Mm -hmm. Then you go to your finances too. Mm -hmm. Um, have I made the right decisions? Am mm -hmm. I stable? Mm -hmm. So by, by doing an analysis of those aspects of your life, mm -hmm. it will be easier to make a decision whether you'll be able to be sta stable mm -hmm. in a relationship mm -hmm. that is okay. building the maturity. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you assess the other aspects of your life, mm -hmm. you'll be able to also get a clear picture of what you can do in terms of uh, the other 
the, the relationship part. Okay. If you're emotionally mature and you're ready for it. Okay. Yes. Uh, when we talk about vulnerability, yes. most of the times, uh, let's say for example, I'm in a relationship. Uh, as a lady in the relationship, I'll find it more easier to go to my partner and tell them about so very many things, I'll, uh, like an open book, I will yeah. not uh, feel ashamed or I will not fear to express myself and to mm -hmm. share probably even some details that I wouldn't share with them. But men find this very difficult. So how now, how important is vulnerability, like being vulnerable with your partner, and how can men be vulnerable? Uh, I, I think it's a problem. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a serious problem, uh, but it's less of a problem mm -hmm in a realistic way. Mm -hmm. It's less of a problem and more of a situation. Mm -hmm. uh, we all wired differently. Mm -hmm. uh, we all raised differently. Okay. Our environments in growing were not the same. Yeah. Maybe somebody was raised in an environment where uh, you are open to talk your mind. Mm -hmm. You are open to speak about what you're thinking about, your mm -hmm. troubles. You, mm -hmm. are, you, are, you are able to get vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Then in some societies, people are brought up in a way that you're supposed to be stone. Tango. Yeah, you're supposed to stay tough on your issues. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to deal with them. Mm -hmm. And many, many men out there have dealt with that. I've actually dealt with that myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no point that I've seen that a man can come to complete vulnerability. vulnerability. It's quite tough. Mm -hmm. But what happens is, first of all, when a prob somebody has an issue, mm -hmm. a situation, you don't keep on forcing it. Mm -hmm. I don't keep on saying, you need to tell me what's going on. Tell mm -hmm. me, tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. It becomes more of, more of, more of a situation mm -hmm. than it was before. Mm -hmm. The best way would be to create a scenario or an environment mm -hmm. where you can share. Okay. When you create it with time, you create that openness mm -hmm. and you start with yourself. Mm -hmm. Be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Okay. With time it gets into 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 the person and they tend to open up to mm -hmm. it, slowly by slowly. Okay. But the fact that they're not talking about it mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. does not necessarily mean that it's killing them. Okay. Maybe it just means that that's now how I know how to deal with my issues. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like if you if you also open up on your side, if mm -hmm. you try and be create the environment for sharing issues. Let mm -hmm. it not be always vibe. They call it vibe. Let it not always be partying and vibe yeah. and having fun. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to have that serious talk. Okay. Open up. Okay. Yeah, so it will uh, help. Okay, sorry. As we as you wind up, uh yeah. There's one topic that people have really normalized that is yes. infidelity. Yes. I would like to get your opinion now as Sefa yes. when it comes to for the time for the number of times that you've had people talk about infidelity and this is some of the phrases that people use yeah. a man cannot keep one woman with his science and people had a million and one reasons as to why they try to justify infidelity what is your opinion as you wider what is your opinion on infidelity and what is the stand that you would yeah. wish other men would stand with when it comes to infidelity society as society has planted a cancer in, in, in itself that uh, that when you get into a relationship, mm -hmm. you might not be at a point of satisfactory mm -hmm. or satisfaction mm -hmm. with the one lady mm -hmm. or one man. Mm -hmm. You need to see a better Keep one on tomorrow, exploring. and mm -hmm. uh, you will be excited about another one. Then you will spend some time with them. Then another one, mm -hmm. and and that's the cycle that society has made us believe. Mm -hmm. And it's more of uh, our traditions mm -hmm. going back all the way to our ancestors. Mm -hmm. They used to marry many wives. Yeah. We are told about stories of our grandparents having six wives yeah. and uh, 30 kids. Mm -hmm. So it's something that most men, very unfortunately, mm -hmm. feel justified mm -hmm. to be part of. Mm -hmm. You feel justified because my grandfather had three wives. Mm -hmm. I, also I also feel justified to mm -hmm. have that. It makes me more of a man. Mm -hmm. But whatever makes a man, a man is away from that. Mm -hmm. It's more of character. Okay. So if every man would conform to a moral unwritten rule, mm -hmm. as I said. Yeah. Unwritten Actually, rule. Actually. Yeah. It is that, unwritten. That the way that you want somebody to treat you, the way you want this lady to be faithful to you alone, mm -hmm. is the same way that she wants you to be faithful to her alone. Mm -hmm. So if we can conform to that, mm -hmm. uh, it can be much easier. Okay. But as you said, for me personally, I believe, I'm a, I'm a believer. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that people should have 
one wife, okay. one husband, mm -hmm. and focus on building that that family. Okay. Because if you build and uh, focus on uh, sharing your issues, trying to build together, grow together, it would be the perfect one, and you would need another one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sefa, for spending uh, the 30 minutes that you've really shared with us tonight. Uh, thank you for everything that you've been able to share with our viewers, and I hope if you're watching us tonight, I hope that you've learned something. And next week, we continue with our journey on relationships, and we'll be having some single people in the house to really tell us why have they chosen to be single. We also try, again, to evaluate our our society in what probably the norms that are there as far as singlehood is concerned. Thank you very much. My name is Patricia Mariuki. Do have, do have yourselves a very good night and build healthy relationships.